Hello my bakers, welcome to the Fancy Cakery, welcome to my channel. This is my first video this year and it is a sweet one. This week we're going to make chocolate honeycomb decorations. These honeycomb decorations are super easy and anyone can do them. I'm going to show you how, so let's get into the video. We're using some organic white chocolate baking squares. I don't know the brand. I sent my son to the store and this is what he got me. So. This is what we're using. And we're going to give them a good fine chop. As fine as you can. They're pretty easy to chop up. And we're going to put them in the microwave to melt them just 30 seconds at a time. This is after the first 30 seconds. It's not ready yet, so another 30 seconds. Be careful not to put the microwave on for over 30 seconds at a time because you will burn your chocolate and you'll have to throw it out. 30 seconds at a time, and if it's not quite done, but it's almost done, you might wanna just put it to 10 or 15 seconds. Take long. For my second 30 seconds, I started to mix it, and at first it doesn't look like it's melted. Keep mixing the residual heat just continues to melt that chocolate and you get a nice smooth melted chocolate without burning your chocolate. So take your time, give it a good mix before you decide if you need to put it in the microwave for a few more seconds. I am sure every one of you has bubble wrap somewhere in your house. You just pull out that bubble wrap, make sure it's nice and clean and pour that chocolate on top of that bubble wrap and just smooth it out. It might help if you like smooth in one direction and not try to go back and forth unless you like tape down your bubble wrap. But I learned this the hard way and I still do it. You just smooth it on there right nice and smooth. And you just leave it a few minutes on the countertop or if it's a warm room, you might have to pop it in the freezer for maybe five to 10 minutes and then you just peel it back and you just snap it and make your little honeycomb designs. Honeycomb is naturally irregular so you don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be symmetrical. I chose to do the white chocolate because I want people to be able to take off the decoration and eat it and I wanted to give them a good taste so I chose white chocolate instead of just the candy melts. But my cupcakes are creamed colored and my frosting is cream colored and the white chocolate honeycomb is cream colored. So I wanted another decoration on top that had another contrasting color. So I got some candy melts that I had in the house and I only had white candy melts or pink and pink would definitely not go with honeycomb because the honeycomb is not pink. So I needed some yellow food coloring, but I only had regular yellow food coloring and you need oil-based food coloring to put into chocolate or candy melts or it will seize and it will not be any good. And I did not have any. I only had three colors that were not compatible. But my husband, God bless him, really, really was trying to help me. Okay, what color are you trying to achieve? Like a honeycomb. What color is honeycomb? Um, yellow. Okay, use yellow. So I'm sure you've all done this before. You think you pressed play, but you pressed stop. So I totally did not capture the part where I took the regular food, gel food, not, not, not the water one that you drip. It was a firm gel food coloring. So I took my candy melts and I did the same thing that I did with the white chocolate. I put them in the microwave 30 seconds at a time until they're nice and creamy melted. And then I took some yellow buttercup. Is that what it's called? Buttercup yellow color, coloring. I put just a tiny, tiny bit with a toothpick into the melted candy melts and it did work and it didn't seize and I was able to make these beautiful amber yellow colored honeycomb decorations to go with my 
white chocolate. And it's the same thing that you do with the white chocolate. You just put it on top of your bubble wrap and you smooth it. And the candy melts harden super fast, so you don't even have to wait as long as the white chocolate. It goes super quick and you have beautiful honeycomb decorations. So easy. You'll swear they're real honeycomb. And don't forget to look out for my honey cupcakes with my cream cheese honey frosting. You're not going to want to miss that. So when you have that extra jar of honey and you want to make a really sweet dessert, you make these honey cupcakes with honey cream cheese frosting and you wow your guests with these cute little honeycomb decorations. Join me next time on the Fancy Cakery and whatever you do bakers, don't stop baking. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to click that subscribe button.